right, welcome back to the American Dream. This time we're heading into Denver, diving into your backyard with the professional Sam Wilson. He's the broker owner and CEO of the Wilson Group Real Estate. Sam, thank you so much for being here with us. How are you? I'm great, Kara. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you. Good. Thanks again for being on the American Dream. So I know Denver, they are making, you guys are making national news. Can you tell us what's going on over there? Yes. So we were recently ranked as the highest price residential real estate market without a coast. And that's great news for homeowners with home values rising like that. And then there's also a national trend going on that I just wanted to mention, and that's interest rates are rising. So back at the first of the year, they were about 3.9%. So in just a couple of months, they've shot up all the way to 4.5%. And I just wanted to put that in terms for our viewers. So if you were a buyer back at the first of the year, a payment at 3.9% would have been able to purchase you about a $450,000 house. Right now, that's $418,000 dollars at that four and a half percent interest rate. So you can see buyers are losing their purchase power a little bit. And then finally, I just wanted to mention another trend we're seeing locally here in some of the hotter neighborhoods in Denver. I call them the close in neighborhoods. They're like uh, Wash Park. Uh, University Park, University Hills, Sunnyside, and the Highlands, those neighborhoods don't have enough homes to sell. We're seeing competitive offers and bidding wars in the price range between about 900000 and $1.1 million. So it's something we haven't seen a lot of before. It sounds like it. It sounds like that competitive range keeps getting higher and higher. And I'm sure you could tell your buyers the same thing. It's not only appreciation you have to look out for, it's those interest rates. So essentially, what does this mean for buyers and sellers? So for buyers, it's really quite simple. It's time to get out there now. Uh, mortgage applications have risen a lot since the first of the year as buyers are flooding the market to get pre-approved for loans and get out there and, and start looking. Uh, it's a good idea if you're a buyer right now to get out before the spring rush, before it gets even more competitive and take advantage of what are still very low rates. Now, for sellers, it means it's time to list. There's no need to wait until the spring. Kara, I like to say that there's two things that get planted in the springtime. One is flowers, and the other one is real estate signs. And right now, there's plenty of buyers in the market to absorb the listings and buy the homes that are for sale out there. So we're encouraging sellers, if you've been thinking about selling, and before there's any downward pressure on pricing as a result of the rising interest rates, it's it's really a great time to list and sell your home right now. I like what you said there. It's so true in the springtime is when the for sale signs go up. So I know you offer home valuation. So if you are a seller, what do you offer people who are looking to sell their home? Yeah, so it's always a free service that I like to provide to sellers to find out what your home is really worth. As opposed to going on the internet and just looking at some website, we will be happy to give you a price opinion, really what buyers will pay for your house. And along with that, I actually have about 3,000 buyers in my database who are out there looking for homes, and a lot of them haven't been able to find one. So you know, maybe a dozen or so in it, uh, most of the neighborhoods in Denver. So I'm also willing to bring a real live list of buyers that are looking for homes in your neighborhood and what they'll pay for it. That's awesome. And I know we're running out of time, but I do know that you have an awesome listing in Sunnyside. Can you talk about that really quickly? Yes, this listing is tremendous. This is on Tejon Street in the Sunnyside neighborhood. It's a classic old Victorian but it's got all the new stuff inside. So it really brings the old world, late 1800s of Denver together with the new, and this place is amazing. And even has a bonus lot right next to it, attached to it with a huge garage, or it could even be used as a warehouse. Awesome. Priced right at a million dollars, by the way, Kara. That sounds wonderful. I know you guys are a hot market, not even with the coast, you have so much more to offer. So Sam, thank you so much for being here with us on the American Dream and sharing about the Denver market. Yeah, again, my pleasure, Kara. It's great to be here. Thanks. We'll see you soon. We'll be right back with more of the American Dream.